Hi, so I, on the main channel, I proved that the set of contractible strings was not regular. And we heavily used the fact that the alphabet had three different characters in it. So I want to uh, show that it's not regular even when there are two characters. If it's one character, then it is regular. And that's pretty easy to see. But with two characters, it's not regular. So what is a contractible string? It's a string where we take a maximal substring, so I can't add anything after it, where all the characters are the same, of length at least two, and then repeatedly remove them, and I'm able to get the empty string. So here, I can remove the one, one here, then um, I'll have one, zero, zero, one, as I do here, and then I remove the zero, zero, and I'm gonna be left with the two ones, and then the ones can be removed. So the thing that I remove is a substring with two characters, at least, of the same character. Um, if it was just alternating, like say, one, zero, one, zero, et cetera, then uh, this is uh, not regular, uh, sorry, this is not contractible because every single uh, substring here uh, has exactly one character and so I can't contract anything. So based on that idea, we want to have something that is just barely contractible. So what do we pick? So we're going to choose in the pumping lemma, we're going to choose the string 1, 0 to the p, 0, 1 to the p. So here, what does the string look like? So it's going to be one zero one zero blah 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 up to the last one zero and then it switches over to zero ones. So it's just barely contractible because the only thing that I can contract is this zero zero in the middle. Then the ones are going to be able to contract and then the zeros after that are going to be able to contract etc. So how do you actually show that uh, you can pump this string out of the language? Well, what you do is you pick um, a decomp any decomposition in according to the pumping lemma rules, which says that uh, the, the repeating part must be within this section right here, the one at the beginning. So then that means that if we use the same ideas in the, in the main video, so if for any decomposition, uh, let's call it X, Y, Z, we're going to look at the string uh, X, Z. So that means we're going to take out the repeating piece, which means that at least one character in this side has to go down, has to be taken away. So then that means that in order for this string to be able to be um, contractible, well, you need to have, um, you need to have, uh, because this is alternating, uh, on either side, this zero one to the p is not touched at all. The one zero is going to be modified, but the zero one over on the other side is not going to um, not going to be touched. So then that means that each of the zeros and ones on the right side, right half, are going to should be matched with a corresponding uh, thing on the on the left side. But since we're taking something away, that means that something on the right side is not matched with something on the left side. And so that means that the thing on the right side can't be contractible. And so uh, this string is not in uh, the language anymore. And that will give us the contradiction that we need to show that this language is not regular. So um, I just wasn't thinking very hard when I said that you needed at least three characters in the original video, but um, the same idea works with two characters. Um, if you have one character, then it is regular because it just corresponds to all strings that are of length at least uh, two and or is the empty string. So every string other than length one, and that's easily shown to be regular. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about contractible strings in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.